I didn't do very well in school at all. Um, I had no, I had no uh, motivation to do anything, um, and that left me in a position where I could actually spell the word fudge with my GCSEs because I did so badly. There was a few programmes I used to watch um, every evening, um, Grand Designs, Top Gear. The Big Bang Theory had a huge impact for me, um, especially because uh, some of the characters, their jobs uh, were very much in physics. And I knew that I could do the work, but once again, didn't have any motivation in school to do physics or science in general. I actually ended up paying for my own um, tutoring for maths. So where I went from having an F in maths, I actually went straight into A-levels um, because the engineering uh, diploma, it requires C grades and above, um, but it's all very much A-level orientated at the college. So I do um, a level three engineering BTEC. Um, it's a two year course and um, it, it again, it requires the C and above grades, um, so I, I kind of jumped into the deep end really. There are several units, I think there's about 17 units and 82 assignments just for this year. And we do practical as well, we do welding, welding and fabrications, and we have been working in the workshop recently, um, making new tools for the workshop. I'm going to be applying for a university place, um, hopefully the University of Southampton. I really want to get into mathematical sciences with physics. I do have op other opportunities. I can go to other universities who um, they offer the same type of um, options. I would really like to carry on studying physics and maybe even look into medicines as well because the two come together very closely. So I was at Ladies College, which is obviously very academic um, and obviously very structured days, very un it's not like that here. Every day is different. We have, I'm on a three day course, so I'm not in every day, so it gives me time to have a job and earn some money. Oh, we've got a lot more freedom here. The, the lecturers are here to guide you through the course rather than just to teach you and sort of help you pass your exams. So within the kitchen I've learnt like kni my knife skills, different um, cooking skills, different techniques of various different um, ways to cook. I've also, you've got to be up on your people skills, communication skills within the restaurant and the kitchen. So we did um, all the canapes for the Chinese MC which was um, an awful lot of food we had to do. There wasn't many of us in the kitchen, only about 10 of us. Uh, we had all sorts of different stuff, so savoury and sweet, fruit, chocolates. Um, part time in a, um, a hotel, a hotel to Havlet, and I did, I've also worked part time before that at Red. Both of them very different ones, a very busy restaurant, one's a very busy hotel. So there's three different parts of the hotel that we serve and room service and it's, it's very different. For work experience which we did within the college I worked at the hospital for I think it was a week um, which was early starts but earlier finishes and it was very exciting up there. Big kitchen. So after graduating I'd like to go away and do events management in the hospitality industry and gain some knowledge and then I'd like to come back to the island and use that on the island and set up something of my own. My name is Christopher Gave and I'm studying the BTEC Level 3 Extended Diploma in Information Technology and I also represent the college um, as student governor. Uh, generally the course consists of 18 units and 9 units over a year and that covers everything from uh, right down to the multimedia, right down to programming. It generally covers just most of what the employers in the IT industry are looking for so the college does well on that part. Uh, I'd say a key part of my experience in that is um, last year when me and a, co or me and a uh, fellow student from the college went to the Guernsey Water to clear their computers in order to bring them to the college. What we actually did there was they had 
50 or so computers that required their hard drives to be wiped in return. The college should use them for the future students and so on. Um, but of course we had to wipe all the hard drives and that was the action of my fellow student and I. And as a college we were providing a service for Guernsey Water. Well, when I'm qualified, I'm generally exploring two options. One of the paths would be to go to university and the other would be to start working for a little while, build up some, some funds and then perhaps put that into starting a business. Well, as student governor, I, I feel that being in touch with the students, I can have more of an impact on what they want. I feel I'm in a position to rather than just contribute to an actual matter, I can actually make it happen now. So at first I have a meeting with the Board of Governors, at which point I take what I've learnt from that meeting and bring it to the Student Council. In my role as student governor, I'm fully involved in the changes and review of the new structures of the college. Whichever direction Guernsey's industry and economy takes in the decades to come, ICT will be at the heart of it. Students can study software design and development, database development, system support and network engineering. Quite recently, a college student was offered an opportunity to work at Apple's headquarters in America. And every year, students that graduate from the college play an important part in the future of ICT in Guernsey. Within Hair and Beauty, we offer lots of different courses, both full and part-time, as well as our apprenticeship provision, as we've had to adapt to the increasing demands of both the local industry and student aspirations to work beyond our shores. We had a request at the last hairdressing employers meeting for employees to gain an insight into our delivery mode. Following this, we're holding a Bring Your Boss to College Day. Apprentices are bringing their employer to college with them for an afternoon. This is just one of the many examples we are working closely with industry. Our business school and full-time courses are growing year on year. We have adapted to the changing aspects of both the finance industry and business community generally. Many of the island's leading professionals have taken the journey to career success through the college. Our approach is to develop inquiring minds and ambitious students keen to work in our exciting local economy. We also encourage students to be active members of their communities. Students that progress through the Business Studies course go into a range of industries and they further their education as they go. Whether that's law, finance, international marketing or running their own successful businesses. Guernsey College, together with the local construction and engineering community, have a proud collaborative history and the student demand for this training is as popular as ever. I'm extremely proud of our achievements as a college and engineering courses we deliver are working. 99% of our students find work or university places on completion of their exams. In recent times, students have gained nationally recognised qualifications and in 2014, Sam Sabir won BTEC Engineering Student of the Year at the National BTEC Awards. And this year, carpentry and joinery student Jack Perry, who works at Royal Letitiaires, has been awarded the City and Guilds Medal for Excellence in recognition of his outstanding performance on the Level 3 Advanced Diploma in Timber Vocations. Finally, I need to point out the link between employers that runs through all of these programmes all of the awarding bodies, such as City and Guilds, IMI and BTEC, have produced and continually update their qualifications to industrial requirements. All of the qualifications produced in engineering, motor vehicle and construction, and in fact all the vocational areas for that matter, are overseen and directed by employer-led sector skills councils. For engineering, that is SEMTA. For motor vehicle, that is IMI. And for the construction trades, it is Summit Skills. So let us use this event to cement our relationship with you, the employers. Thank you.